Hello guys and you're very welcome to another episode of Ireland's Atlantic Adventures and today we're coming with something a bit different so we're doing a tutorial so I ended up picking myself up these uh, handle grips these new grips with the palm rest on them uh, original sea dew parts and um, there's nothing wrong with the original grips okay they're still there they still work it's no problem but uh, these just look way cooler and apparently they're more comfortable for when you're riding so they're cost effective, they're not too expensive. I think they come in about 30 to 40 euros, depending on where you are. Uh, I got them here in Ireland from Kilmore Jetworks up in the north. Can't exa remember exactly where, but I'll leave a link to the website down below in the description, okay? So let's move on into the tutorial and show you how to put on these grips. So what you're going to need for today's tutorial is you're going to need a 10 mil socket. What? No power tools. You know what I forgot? To brush my teeth. That is not your toothbrush. And a flathead screwdriver. So to start off with, you're going to start with the flathead screwdriver and you're just going to pick out, or pluck out, should I say, the original rubber seal. And there we go. Hold on to that, don't lose it because you're going to need to cap it back up so it won't cause corrosion if you leave it off. All right, so put that over to the side. We're going to get our 10 mil socket. Very simple, just pull it out. Now the washer will come out with it. If it doesn't, get your flathead screwdriver and pluck that out again as well, because you're going to need that again. All right, from here, it's just kind of brute force, really. You just got to pull and tug to kind of get it off. But I have done this previously, so what I've actually done some before that was I peel back this part right here and then it kind of made it a bit easier for me. So again, it's still even stiff. Ugh, genie Mac, I nearly went flying here. So here we have it, it's off. Now at the same time, you can see it's a bit corrosion because it is salt water, this just gives mainly in. You can see the corrosion on this cap here. So hold on to this. So now wouldn't be a bad time to go get a wire brush and clean these off. Okay, so now it's time to put on the actual grip. So it'll actually be labeled on the side, just inside here on the cap. It'll say RH or LH. RH for right hand, LH for left hand. So what you're gonna do is, you can see this little bit of a, a gap here, and it'll show that there is a bit of a pattern. So when you slide them on, the patterns on the inside of this also sort of help you guide it on to the exact perfect position that C do think you should have them in. You're gonna put this cap back on first. And there's a bit of a nipple on it there, so you can stick that into the pin here. There you go, so that's what's going to catch onto the 10 mil uh, drill bit. All right, so we can just slide it on. Give it a bit of a whack. There we go. And in she is, lovely. Now we get our, our drill bit and our bolt. And we're just going to... everywhere the bunk beds were a terrible idea why did you let us do that tighten it up get your rubber cap and then stick that back in there and bob's your uncle sort it now over to the other side Okay, so there we have it guys. We have the newer grips on the Sea-Doo RXPX 2012 model. So aesthetically, they're much nicer to look at. They give it that more sporty feel and that sporty look. And uh, yeah, it's just badass really, you know, so. Okay, so there you have it guys, a very, very simple tutorial. Anyone can do this job. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy. But if you have any questions in any way, shape or form, do leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and comment if you would. That would be absolutely awesome. So yeah, if you're in Ireland, you're looking for these, get on to Davey up in Kilmore, Jetworks. Awesome dude. I'll, like I said, I'll leave links down below and he'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, so guys, we'll catch you in the next episode. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Thank you.